Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Government of Telangana, Honorable uh, members on the dais, and distinguished delegates from all walks of millet life. Uh, as was mentioned by one of my colleagues, that the enthusiasm which we see here is really infectious. In fact, I was not able to attend the first nat uh, national conference of the Nutri-Serial Convention. So I made it a point that I have to be here for the second national conference because I heard so many good things about it. It's been a year since that has passed and still the momentum has been maintained. So I just want to tell you what has the government of India uh, been doing, what we are planning to do and how we intend to sustain the momentum for the International Year of Millets. All of you know that our Honorable Prime Minister took the lead to declare the International Day of Yoga. So just as that has become a, a movement known across India, known across the world that we identify with India, yoga means India. Similarly, we want to make millets that whenever you hear the word millets, it should be associated with India. So that is how the UN resolution was brought about. And it is our collective challenge to sustain the momentum and bring millets to every plate in the world not just in India alone, but to every plate in the world. Uh, I thank uh, Dr. Ratnavati and Dr. Deyaka Rao to invite me for this event and to see the, uh, the stalls, the, the participation, the energy, the questions people are asking me. It is truly, truly very, very uh, exciting and uh, I'm very touched. And I can see that the potential is there and we just have to give it the right path from both the government of India and the state governments. We cannot do this movement without the collective support of the state governments, every citizen of India and make it a true mass movement. I will be chairing a session on the state millet missions. Many states have done very, very good work and they are leading the way. Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Assam. So the states are catching on. Uh, the millets uh, which we produce in India goes to all across the world. In fact, we produce 80% of Asia's millets and 20% and 20 of the world's millets. And the export potential is huge. We are working in close coordination with APIDA to, uh, to get all the startups in one place, to make a directory of products which can be exported to countries. Because when we have meetings with the Indian ambassadors, when we have one-to-one -one dialogues with them, the first thing, thing they ask us, where do we get these millets? How do I get them? Where do I procure them? If I want to serve them in, to, uh, to diplomats, to in Indian functions, where do I procure? So these type of uh, issues are there, which we are tackling from uh, this, uh, through this millet uh, International Year of Millets. So, uh, but it is a work in progress. As we talk to different stakeholders, to startups, to business, to, uh, uh, to chefs, to hotel management institutes, to students, to agricultural scientists, we get to know new things every day. And so every day we have something new to work upon. And this is how this millet movement will be sustained. We have ambitious plans for the launch. Uh, we hope to get lots of dignitaries from the world over. We hope to launch the uh, event in January 2023 in a very, very big way and invite many uh, ambassadors and agricultural scientists and many leaders from across the world. Similarly, um, we have a whole of government approach. Uh, Dr. R.K. Singh mentioned about working with ministries. All the ministries of the government of India are working, are working towards the millets, International Year of Millets, in, in some capacity or the other. Department of Commerce is uh, taking part in international uh, trade fairs, in millet shows across the world. Department of Commerce is, is in charge of the larger uh, festivals which we hope to have in Africa, Asia, Europe, USA, all corners of the world, East Asia. The Ministry of Finance is doing its own bit by uh, financing uh, NABAD. The, uh, the Finance Minister had a big function in Karnatak recently where she announced 25 crore rupees for millet uh, for millet activities. Then we have the MEA. The MEA is going to play a very, very important role by involving the Indian diaspora, by reaching out to the uh, yoga enthusiasts, to the Ayurveda enthusiasts, to build up on this because India is promoting this soft culture of uh, yoga, Ayurveda, Moringa, 
So next is now millets to promote millets. As I was mentioning the whole of government approach, ICER is our biggest partner and we have a core committee which is co-chaired by the both secretaries and this core committee meets on a, a frequent basis and we are chalking the path for the future. Department of Education is a very, very big uh, support for us. It, uh, from 2nd October, a huge campaign is going to be launched in the schools. The school children are going to be involved for, with many competitions, poetry uh, competitions, essay competitions. We have a MyGov platform in the Government of India, which is where already there are ongoing competitions of, for comic stories. There's a millet quiz, there's a startup challenge. So these are the departments which we weave into the program of International Year of Millets. Uh, we have reached out to the hospitals, we have reached out to the canteens. We, have, uh, we are going to establish lots and lots of millet vending machines in the Government of India canteens. And NAFED is an important partner for us in that. And, uh, and basically, leading up to the launch, many activities are there. I, I see a lot of enthusiasm in the big business houses such as ITC, Tata, many of them are here today also, a big, a big basket. But there is still a long way to go, but everybody seems to be enthusiastic about it and willing to cooperate. But two very good ideas were just given to me by some people from the audience. Millets are there in our architecture. It's there in the Konark temple, I did not know. We can use millets. Uh, millets are there in our scriptures. In our India has such a rich tradition of uh, we have such an old history, ancient history, and in fact, the Prime Minister himself, he quotes from so many scriptures of uh, the great Indian texts which are there. So, millets are mentioned in those texts. We have to bring that back. We have to tell the world millets have been there since that time. And uh, this country is, is extremely rich in its, in its uh, culture, tradition, eating. So, we have to bring the glory back of millets. And I urge all of you to come together and make the International Euro Millets a huge success. Thank you very much.